Hey everyone, I'm Leanda. Welcome to my Day Off Challenge. In this series of videos, I'm going to be making a brand new recipe every week. And this week, I'm going to be trying out some lemon curd coconut meringue squares. Something kind of like a lemon meringue pie, but hopefully a ton better. So, let's give it a shot. This recipe consists of three parts. The cookie base the curd middle, and then the meringue topping. So the cookie base is where we're going to start. And for that, we're going to use a recipe that comes from my mom that she's been using for millionaire shortbread for years. But we're going to adjust it a little bit. First off, switch the oven on to about 170, 160 degrees Celsius, depending on your oven. You don't want the oven to be too hot. In fact, it can actually rather be a little bit on the cooler side uh, because shortbread can burn very easily. This is a gas oven, so it's not too precise. Uh, I'll have to just check it out and see how I go along. For this shortbread recipe, you are going to need 240 grams of flour, 150 grams of butter and 50 grams of shortening or uh, margarine and 75 grams of caster or fine white sugar. I'm also going to be using my food processor uh, but you don't have to use a food processor you can also use your fingers and do the rub in method. The purpose of what we're going to do next is to try and get a texture something like breadcrumb. All right let's start by first putting a little bit of the flour in there. I usually do this just to make sure that the butter doesn't stick to the bottom. All right, and then we can add our cubed butter. And now we're just gonna blitz it up. When it looks kind of like wet breadcrumbs, then you can add the sugar and give it one last mix. Voila! Line a pan with foil and spray it with a bit of spray and cook. Um, the foil is important because later on it's going to be tricky to remove your shortbread. So um, that's going to help you get it out and be able to cut it neatly. Put the shortbread mixture into the pan and then just make sure to press it into all of the corners so that you get kind of like an even layer. You'll see the sandiness kind of goes away and it starts to, to firm up a little bit. You can be quite tough with it. Um, I'm pushing on it now um, and it seems to be able to take a bit of punishment. And now last but not least, we need to put some holes with a fork at regular intervals onto the shortbread. Um, I think to let the steam escape so that it can get nice and dry without cracking. And now we're going to put it in the oven and start by baking it for 15 minutes and then we'll take a look from there. All right, so for the next part, we have to do the middle layer, which is the lemon curd. So for that, I am going to be doing an adaptation from a recipe that I found in Annette Iman's Lekker Verlater Plus book, which is a very awesome book about uh, different preservative methods and making jams and vinegars and all kinds of awesome stuff. And so this is basically my kind of version of that based on what I have available in my kitchen today. So for the next part, you're going to need a double boiler. But if you don't have one like me, you can kind of make a plan. So what I've got here is something big like a pasta pot. Uh, and I got a bit of water in there enough so that it is kind of just below the bottom of this pot. Or when I hang it um, inside of there. So basically that is going to give me the same effect 
as a double boiler so I'm going to put the stove on on like a medium heat and I'm just going to put this over there in the meantime so that it can start heating up and then we are going to use that to make our custard lemon curd you will need the grated rind of four lemons and the juice squeezed from those same lemons. Um, pass it through a sieve first to get all of the pips and the little cells and segments out. Then you also need five egg yolks and one normal egg. Uh, save the egg whites because you're going to use them for the meringue later. You also need 175 grams of cubed butter and 300 grams of caster or fine white sugar. And now we're going to take all of this to the double boiler. Start by melting the butter in the top of your double boiler. Next add the caster sugar, all the lemon juice and all the lemon peel into the butter. and continue to heat the mixture until all the sugar melts stirring every now and then um, but it's very important overall uh, that you don't boil it um, you just want to heat it gently so that the sugar can melt in the meantime while that is melting mix the eggs really really well until they're nice and foamy all right once all the sugar is dissolved you need to add a little bit of the lemon mixture into your egg mixture and just give it a little mix around like so and once that is all incorporated you can add your egg mixture to your lemon mixture on the stove. All right, and now you're going to want to cook that gently for the next sort of 20 odd minutes until it starts to thicken. Resist the temptation to walk away from your pot because this can turn quite quickly. Um, I just stepped away for like two seconds um, and it already got a lot thicker. So just um, keep an eye on it like really diligently. And then you want to continue doing it, they say, until it covers the back of a spoon. So that kind of covers the back of a spoon, right? But... I want it to be quite a jammy layer um, once it's finished baking so I'm worried that that is maybe still a little bit thin so I think I'm going to cook it for just a few seconds more all right look at that that looks amazing it's really thick and mm -hmm. yummy so good I could really eat this stuff just by the spoonful, to be honest. Um, these are going to be so amazing. All right, now we want to pour this lemon curd mixture over our cookie base. And then we're going to cool it down in the fridge. There we go. Just make sure to get it into all of the corners evenly. All right, now I'm gonna pop this into the fridge for a little bit so that it can firm up. And in the meantime, I'm gonna get ready all the things we need for our meringue. So now while our pie is chilling in the fridge, we're gonna get started on our meringue. And for that, we're basically just gonna use egg whites, caster sugar, coconut, and a little bit of cream of tartar which we're going to be whisking all all right so in here we've got the five uh, egg whites that we saved from earlier and into that i'm going to add half a teaspoon of cream of tartar 
The original recipe said a quarter, but that was for three egg whites. So since I'm using five, uh, I'm kind of doubling up um, in this case. Now we're going to whisk that um, until soft peaks form. All right, now we want to add the first of eight uh, tablespoons of caster sugar and then just mix that through. All right, when you've got sticky marshmallow peaks like this, you are done and dusted. Now you need to fold in about a cup full of coconut, but I am going to quickly just toast half of this coconut first, just to give it like an extra nutty flavor. Now fold the coconut mixture into your egg whites, but do it gently so that you don't knock out the air. Something like that. All right, now you can pipe or spread your meringue onto your lemon square. It looks pretty good if I have to say so myself. I'm just gonna spread it um, to try and not lose as much as possible. There we go. And now just spread it evenly across. There we go. And now we're going to pop it in the oven until the meringue comes out nice and golden on top. I'll start with 15 minutes and then I'll see what it looks like. And there it is. Our very beautiful coconut meringue lemon curd squares. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if this has really worked. I had it in for 15 minutes and then for another almost 30 minutes, but the meringue just didn't want to get crispy. So this middle part is kind of like marshmallow-y. It's quite squishy. Um, and the ones around the edges are quite crispy. Now I have a a gas oven um, and it doesn't have a grill function. So I couldn't give it any heat from the top. And I think that may have affected it, especially since the lemon curd underneath was quite liquidy. Um, so hopefully it's going to be fine when I cut it now. Um, let's see what happens. <laughs> let's give it a bash. Mm. Amazing. Amazing. The shortbread is nice and buttery and creamy. The curd is really nice and tart and lemony. Um, I think the coconut meringue would be better if it was a little bit more crispy. Um, but it's nice and nutty. And yeah, it's going to go down a treat with my coffee. If you like this video, please hit subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you for my next challenge next week.